hand picks up an ice cream cone from a table. School children sit at a table successively in pairs. I love ice cream. It's just so nice. Like, it's cold and like the ice just tingles on your tongue. Creamy. Delicious. A boy inspects an ice cream tub. What is this? This is not ice cream. The children pull out kelp from Ew. ice cream tubs. Seaweed, like this brown kelp, has something in it called alginate. Alginate does amazing things to ice cream. It stops it from melting too quickly and gives it its delicious creamy texture. Kelp is mostly found in cold, rocky seabeds, such as off the coast of Scotland. It grows incredibly quickly, nearly as long as your arm, in a day. Two boys gape in disbelief. That's quick. And forms underwater forests that are home to a whole world of creatures. Underwater, rays of light shine on dense, tall groupings of kelp. Fish swim along the long leaves of the algae. A baby seal visits the same place. The large leaves, or blades, are ideal hiding places for fish, and the shady forest makes the perfect environment for sea sponges and sea squirts. Small animals, such as sea urchins, love munching on kelp. In an animation of the bottom of the sea, the urchins, small, round, purple, and covered in spines, consume the kelp rapidly. But if you have lots of sea urchins, they will eat through the kelp very quickly, and this would be bad news for all those animals and plants that depend on it. However, sea otters love eating the urchins. A sea otter swims underwater. They look cute. And help to balance the food chain, which protects the kelp and the ice cream too. All the different kinds of life found in an area like this is called biodiversity. And without it, we couldn't have ice cream. Two girls look at the tub labels. Mighty Midge chocolate ice cream. Are they in chocolate? That's very small. I don't even know. Like maybe that, I don't know. Tiny, tiny. A girl looks through a microscope oh. at an animated Midge. Hey you, who you calling tiny? Mic check, one, two, one, two. Size check, one, two, one, two. Three millimeters if we're measuring length. But see, I'm the leader if we're measuring strength. I might be the mightiest midge of them all. Slightly minuscule, sure, but it rules to be small. I'm the pollinator, down the best that you'll ever see. Squeeze myself into the flower of the cocoa tree. Put the chocolate ice cream in the freezer next to your fridge. I'm the hip hop in my drop in mightiest midge. I guess I'm pretty fly. Get it? And that's how chocolate's made. What? That's cool. <laughs> Midges are like pollinating the flowers that get the cocoa beans to make the chocolate. So it, it's helping with the chocolate industry. I like midges now. Keep the midges. I want to get a midge and a seal. So you could say because of a huge range of creatures like midges, seaweed and sea otters, we get to have ice cream. It's the variety of all life on Earth that gives us many of the things we need and love. So every part is important. It's important that we gather these things in a careful way that protects biodiversity so we can continue to have the things we love. This is actually so nice to kind of lie to you. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. The children <laughs> enjoy ice cream. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments what videos you'd like to see from us next. To find out more about biodiversity, check out the links in the description below. On the right-hand side, the words Natural History Museum are displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.